Welcome to the new video on learning PiesPark with cloud computing from implied concepts. In this video we will discuss about data frames from Spark. In the previous video during discussion on Spark session, we discussed how Spark SQL context supports handling of schematic structured data. Let's look into the Spark's ecosystem of data frames. In Spark, data frame can be described as a collection of distributed data that is organized as the named columns. Basically, it is equivalent to a table in a relational database. It is developed on the basis of data frames in R and Python, however it has great optimization features. Ability to scale from kilobytes of data on a single laptop to petabytes on a large cluster. Data frame supports reading data from the most popular formats, including JSON files, Parquet files, Hive tables. It can read from local file systems, HDFS, and cloud storage like S3. Spark supports state-of-the-art optimization and code generation through the Spark SQL Catalyst Optimizer on the data frames. Spark data frames can be seamlessly integrated with all big data tooling and infrastructure via Spark. Data frames can be used directly in MLlib's Machine Learning Pipeline API. In addition, programs can run arbitrarily complex user functions on data frames. Spark data frames support for data sources enables applications to easily combine data from disparate sources. The chart compares the runtime performance of running group by aggregation on 10 million integer pairs on a single machine. And we can see that Spark Python data frame outperforms vanilla Python RDD variant by a factor of 5. We are now ready to work with RDD operations using both structured data with data frames, and unstructured data.